Hi friends, today we are going to tally six and seven objects and the first activity is to flap, slap and count to eight. This activity will prepare us to touching and counting. We will begin by flapping seven times and count the flaps. Are you ready? Let's flap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we slap our legs seven times and count the slaps. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will now flap eight times and count the flaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was good. Now let's slap our leg eight times and count. Are you ready? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was good. All right, we have some pigs here. How many pigs are here? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. We have five pigs. What we want to do now is we want to tally the pigs. The way we are going to do that, we are going to draw a vertical line for each of the pigs. Okay, so we will start from the first pig. One, okay, the second pig, the third pig, and the fourth pig. But on the fifth pig, we are not going to draw a vertical line. We are going to draw horizontal line. That is how we make our tally marks. So, in total, how many tally marks do we have here now? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And how many pigs? Five. So we have five tally marks representing our five pigs. Good job. These are what? These are sheep. Can we tally these sheep? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and tally the sheep too. First, let us count how many sheep we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six sheep. Now, we are going to draw tally marks to represent the sheep. We'll start from the first sheep to make our tally marks. We'll draw one vertical line, another, another, draw another one. Then the fifth one, we are going to cross it. We'll cross the fifth one like this. But we have six sheep, okay? So it then means we'll have to draw another one vertical line to make it six tally marks to match with the sheep. We have seven clocks. How many clocks do we have? Seven. We are going to make tally marks to represent the seven clocks. We'll start at the first one by drawing a vertical line, starting from the first clock. Vertical line down. Another vertical line. Good. Another vertical line. Another vertical line. Now for the fifth one, we cross it. Remember I said we have seven clocks. We are going to make two more vertical lines. 
two. Good. So how many tally marks did we make? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just made seven tally marks to match with the number of clocks. I know that you can now make tally marks to represent different numbers of objects. Make sure you do your assignments by counting objects and tally them properly. Okay? See you next class. Bye.